All right, here we are, back at it. Um, finished the black and white grayscale value version of this subject matter apple and an orange sitting on a cutting board with a simple background. I've gone ahead and uh, spent about 10 15 minutes mixing up some colors. Uh, three colors. I'm working with cad yellow pale hue, uh, a cad red, what do we got? Cad red hue and ultramarine blue with some titanium white. So I mixed up uh, my orange and uh, mixed up a green and then a little bit of purple and uh, tinted up a combination of red and green to make my gray. So I've got a couple uh, things mixed up ahead of time and so I plotted out my plan of attack here for what I think uh, at least going to be the basic colors and a uh, oh, little sketch here and we'll start painting from there. sample back up here. Hopefully you can see that. Again, I'm not too concerned about uh, the uh, background color. Don't know if that's getting on the camera or not. Slide that over a tad. Put in some basic, uh, real simple colors here. Value, 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 test the value. With that, a little bit of this. Not a lot of blending, just strokes of color, looking at value. Make some corrections to the drawing. And at that point, rinse out the brush a little bit. Just connect the dots. Connect the sides. Not too worried about blending. All right, good enough for the background. Could always use a rag. Again, the main interest here is value, matching value, and uh, not being too concerned with color. Got a little bit of a dark area in here. I'll try to get that at least a piece of color put in so I don't have to come back in there and add color later. Working background to foreground. Well, there's my long lost son. Also known as Tux the Cat. All right, good enough. Here we go. Got that, got that, got that. Let's put in some of the, the darks on the fruit. We've got some shadows here, so 
Uh, for me, the opposite of orange is blue to help darken up the orange and opposite of this reddish green on the apple is going to be uh, green. I do see a little bit of purple but it's really red um, with a little green to help that. Of course the challenge with with just using three colors especially to mix green uh, well, I should say the green is pretty easy, but to do the complement here of uh, I have a mixed orange, red and yellow, and then adding blue uh, tends to cause a little bit of a problem with uh, uh, getting it muddy. But I think we can we can address that as we go. A la prima, wet into wet. The only only medium I'm using is uh, OMS just to dampen the brush a little bit. I'll be able to come back over that and add another layer of color. But for now, I want to get this the shape generally uh, in place. I think we should put a little bit of that uh, this cast shadow in here also. I'm reading that uh, is a little bit darker. gonna bump up to that. As I did here, I read that darker than this. I can do a, a lighter version of this color just by adding a little OMS to it, moving it around. For me that that could work in this case. Again, it's a study. not too concerned about the color itself. Scrub a little bit of that in. I think we'll go with a come back in scumble reflected light in later but that looks about right adding orange to lighten that versus red or versus white Let's get the general shape here. The initial read is it's darker than what I've got, but I'll come back. I'm going to lighten that just a little now. But I can come back and tweak that. finishing marks. Kind of a crescent shape. 
bends all the way around down here, not really looking at anything else other than the shape, creating a mosaic effect um, with these uh, with these colors and values. A little bit darker right into here. A little bit of a wash. I see this other shadow here. That looks pretty close. So I'll call it red lightened with some green. Fix that drawing. It's going to come up there a little bit higher. It's a little bit lighter out here. I'll call that a little more warmer uh, green. Okay, we got that. Get this out here. I'll fix that drawing. Oh, let's see. Reddish. Looks almost yellow. Not sure what type of apple this was, but uh, got some red. We've got some. We've got some yellow green. Tinted. Yellow green tinted. That looks about right. Test. Of course, I love the effect that the knife makes. It gives it that streak, but uh, not too interested in that right now. Mainly looking for value. Good enough there. One of my favorite brushes, the finger, especially for softening edges. All right, got that, got that. Good, good, good. Now, Just to come in and finish up putting a couple of the lighter values on top of that initial block in. Connecting some of the transitions. Same out here, got a little bit of red. 
very light touch. It almost looks reddish purple right down here at the bottom. So bring a little bit of that in there. Lightly touching the transition. Looks like in, in the same general, pretty close value wise. Right at the top, we've got a dark. Dark edge where that stem would be. Handy tool is the palette knife. Just separating those planes. Now could be a good time at least to put in the stem. Dark side first. Light right next to it. Good enough. All right, so I'm just at a position where I want to uh, finish up some of these minor details, make a few value adjustments on a couple areas. I could uh, throw in a highlight. Just kind of soften that a little bit. Similar, going, similar thing going on right about here. Just a little bit. Just because. And um, checking some of these values here in the cast shadow. This one could have been a little bit lighter because there's some reflected light in here which uh, I made too dark in this area. Um, while the color isn't right here, I believe the value is very skinny. Up here, a little bit back in this top edge. But again, I don't want to get too uh, too hung up on the on the details. Okay, got that. Uh, when comparing the two, this looks pretty pretty close over here. A little bit, a little bit light out here. Push that back just a tad. Down the bend, a little 
little bit darker underneath here. Looks good in there. You could throw in a little bit of this orange reflected light through here. There is a bit of a highlight being cast on the apple. I think we got that pretty close. Anyway, I hope this uh, is helpful for it's helpful for me in understanding uh, values lights, lightness and the darkness uh, of a color and then trying to figure out how to mix that up. I do believe that value is more important than getting the color correct. So a correct value uh, for me is more important than a correct color. So thanks uh, for watching. Uh, an artist is never done so I'll keep dibble dabbling on this and uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Uh, if you'd like more art videos, please subscribe. Thanks, this is Mike Pintar. Bye.